Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christian's Crosses for Saturday, April 27th, 2024, Saturday of the fourth week of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies. Show benevolence to your church, that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John Chapter 14, verses 7 through 14. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen. Amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, we find ourselves privy to a deeply intimate moment between Jesus and his disciples. It's a conversation that unfolds in the quiet tension of the Last Supper as they gather around, and Jesus is speaking of the deep mysteries of unity with the Father and the love that binds them. It's here that Philip, who is perhaps overwhelmed by a question, feels the need to ask God, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough. Philip's question to Jesus is an example of our own human desire to see and know God in a tangible way. Jesus' response to Philip, however, opens up something new. He says, Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Here Jesus is just gently correcting Philip's understanding while inviting him and each one of us into a profound truth of our faith. It's an invitation to move beyond our desire for signs and to recognize that in seeing Jesus, we are truly seeing the Father. This revelation may challenge our understanding as it likely challenged Philip's. It asks us to believe, to lean on our experiences of Jesus, and to trust that he is indeed the living revelation of God. For us, there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. We're called to make a deliberate decision to carve out time for Jesus in our daily lives, to sit at his feet and listen. Sometimes I can do that successfully in the car driving on my long commute to work, but oftentimes I get distracted. For me, I need to find a quiet place where I can focus on my prayers and get away from the distractions and not only speak to Christ, but also to listen to Him. Let's resolve today that by God's grace, we will evaluate what we're doing to further our own relationship with God. Let's ask ourselves if we're spending enough quality time with our Lord. Are there adjustments that we need to make in our day to ensure that we're not just going through the motions, but we're truly growing in a loving relationship with Christ? And so today, let's pray that our journey into the heart of Jesus will bring us ever closer to the Father, for in knowing Jesus, we come to know the Father himself.
We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.